Hello dear students, welcome to Corona Mass Academy. Today in this video, we are going to prove one of the most important question from Circle Hour Theorem, which is asked in SE 2075 in question number 24. Dear students, in question number 24, the question is, in the given figure, O is the center of the circle. In the given figure, O is the center of the circle, where X O is parallel to where x o is parallel to s q now we have to prove that p x is equal to s x p x is equal to s x so let's solve this question so dear students in this question we have to use the theorem of midpoint of a triangle so dear students according to the theorem of midpoint of a triangle a line segment drawn to the midpoint of one side and parallel to another side bisect the third side so dear students in order to prove in order to get the solution of this question number 24 we have to apply the midpoint theorem so let's write down given at first so dear students we are given that o is the center of the circle number one O is the center of the circle. We are also given that XO. XO is parallel to SQ. XO is parallel to SQ. Let's write down to prove. So according to the question, we have to prove that PX is equal to SX. PX is equal to SX. Dear students, in this, in this question already I have taken construction. So at first we have to join PS. Join PS. And produce OX to meet PS at M. And produce, produce means extend. We have to extend OX. And produce OX. To meet PS at M, to meet PS at M, PS at M, such that OM is parallel to SQ, such that OM is parallel to SQ. So write down statement number one. Dear students, POQ, the line PQ passes through the center of the circle. So PQ is the diameter of the circle. Now, after joining PS, we have got a triangle PQS. We have got a triangle PQS and we can take angle PSQ is equal to 90 degree. Angle PSQ we can take equal to 90 degree because Angles obtained by diameter at the circumference of the circle. This means angle PSQ is angle subtended by diameter at the circumference of the circle. So we can take angle PSQ is equal to 90 degree. Angle in the semicircle. Now in statement number 2. So this means now angle PSQ. This angle is already 90 degree. Since OM is parallel to SQ, we can take angle OMP is equal to angle MSQ, angle MSQ. The reason is corresponding angles. So this means the line OM is parallel to QS or we can say SQ. So when the line OM and SQ are parallel, then angle OMP and angle MSQ or we can say QSM are corresponding angles. So we can write corresponding angles, angles in OM parallel to SQ, in OM, OM parallel to SQ. 
So dear students, since angle MSQ, which is PSQ, we can say PSQ also, angle PSQ and MSQ, they represent the same angle. Since angle PSQ is 90 degree, so we can write angle OMP. OMP is equal to angle PSQ. So we can take angle OMP is also equal to 90 degree. So dear students, from statement number one, angle PSQ. Angle PSQ represent angle MSQ. So value of angle PSQ is 90 degree. The value of angle PSQ is 90 degree. So value of the angle MSQ also we can take 90 degree because they represent, represent the same angle. So dear students, in statement number two, we have got angle OMP is equal to 90 degree. So we can write angle OMS angle OMS plus angle OMP angle OMP is equal to 180 degree. The reason is supplementary angles. So dear students, the value of angle OMP is 90 degree. So by solving this by solving this we get the value of we get the value of angle OMS also 90 degree we get the value of OMS also 90 degree so it is from statement 2 and 3 so by combining statement 2 and 3 by putting the value of OMP 90 degree we get the value of OMS we get the value of angle OMS also 90 degree Distance PO and OQ they are equal so we have to take the triangle PQS and apply the midpoint theorem since PO and OQ both are ready of the same circle so we can take O as the midpoint of PQ a line segment drawn to the midpoint of one side and parallel to another side bisect the third side so this means we can write PM is equal to MS so there is the reason for statement number four is OP is equal to OQ. Both are ready of the same circle. And OM is parallel to SQ. OM is parallel to SQ. So by the midpoint theorem, by the midpoint theorem, by the midpoint theorem. A line cement drawn through the midpoint of one side and parallel to another side by save the third side. So we can take PM is equal to MS. So in the next step now, we'll show the triangle PMX and SMX congruent. So this means the two triangles PMX and SMX we can show congruent by side angle and side so we can take pm is equal to ms side first which we have already shown we can take pm is equal to ms which is from statement number four so this means this is from statement number four pm is equal to ms all did we have shown now we can take angle pm x angle pmx is equal to we can take angle SMX both are 90 degree angle S M X both are 90 degree so dear students already we have shown in statements number 2 and 3 the angle MSQ MSQ angle MSQ means this angle already we have shown equal to this angle and these two angles are 90 degrees so we can take angle pm x is equal to angle smx both are 90 degree both are 90 degree now number three we can take mx is equal to mx we can write xm is equal to xm this is the common side this is from statement number two and three xm is equal to sm so this is the common side so dear students now in statement number six we can write triangle pmx congruent to triangle congruent to triangle smx 
सो डी स्टूडेंट्स द टू ट्राइंगल्स पी एम एक्स एंड एस एम एक्स वी हैव सुन कॉन्गुरेंट बाय एस ए एस अगेन साइड एंगल साइड एस एस फैक्ट सो दिस इज फ्रॉम एस एस फैक्ट ऑफ कॉन्गुरेंसी टेस्ट ऑफ ट्राइंगल्स नंबर सेवेन नाउ वी कैन राइट पी एक्स इज कॉल टू एस एक्स वी कैन राइट पी एक्स इज कॉल टू पी एक्स इज कॉल टू एस एक्स सो दिस इज द कॉरिस्पोनिंग साइड्स दिस इज द कॉरिस्पोनिंग साइड्स ऑफ कॉन्गुरेन ट्राइंगल्स हेंस इट इज प्रूव्ड सो डे सेंस बिफोर वी इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स वन रिव्यू द प्रोसेस वी हैव फॉलोड इन द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव यूज मिड पॉइंट थेरम एंड वन ऑफ द प्रोपर्टी ऑफ सर्कल एंगल इन द सेम इज सर्कल इज अ राइट एंगल एंड देन वी हैव यूज द कंडीशन we x parallel to sq so this means at first we'll show that yam is the midpoint of ps or first we can show angle pmx and smx both 90 degree so we know that angle subtended by diameter at the circumference of a circle is 90 degree so this means angle psq so after taking construction we can write angle psq is equal to 90 degree because angle in the same circle is a right angle so this means if angle psq is 90 degree then we can write angle pmx also 90 degree because they are the corresponding angles of congruent triangles because they are the corresponding angles of congruent triangle so first we have written angle psq is equal 90 degree angle in the same circle then we have taken angle OMP or we can say XMP is equal to angle MSQ because the line MO is parallel to SQ so they are the corresponding angles in parallel lines OM and SQ so this means if this angle is 90 degree then the angle SMX will be also 90 degree because angle PMX plus SMX is 180 degree supplementary angles so we have found angle oms we have found angle oms or we can say xmx also 90 degree so this means now next we have used the midpoint theorem of triangle o is the midpoint of side pq so in the triangle psq in the triangle psq o is the midpoint of the side pq because op and ok oq are radii of the same circle so o is the midpoint of the side pq So all line segment drawn to the midpoint of one side and parallel to another side bisect the third side. So this means we can write PM is equal MS by using the midpoint theorem. So we can write PM is equal MS because OP is equal OQ being radii of the same circle and OM is parallel to and OM is parallel to SQ. So this means according to the midpoint theorem a line segment drawn through the midpoint of one side and parallel to another side bisect the third side so pm is equal ms we can write by the midpoint theorem now we'll show the triangle pmx and smx congruent so this is now these two triangles we can easily show congruent already we have proved pm is equal ms already we have pm is equal ms by the midpoint theorem and these two angles are right angle and this mx is the common side so by side angle side and again side angle side we can show these two triangles congruent so in triangle pmx and in triangle smx first we have taken pm is equal ms because already we have shown then angle pmx is equal smx angle pmx is equal smx both are 90 degree already we have shown in the statement number 1 2 and 3 then we have taken xm is equal to xm is equal to xm which is the common side of two triangles pmx and smx so this is by sas again side angle side by ss fact we have shown two triangles congruent so after showing two triangles congruent we can write px is equal to we can write px is equal to sx because they are the corresponding sides of congruent triangles because they are the corresponding sides of congruent angles hence we have got the proof of question number 
that means we have got Px is equal to Sx. So dear students, I hope you have understood the proof of the solution of question number 24, which has been frequently asked in S examination. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed our YouTube channel called Mass Academy, please subscribe it so that you will regularly get the important questions and solution of S E examinations. So thank you. And again, we'll meet in the ne next video with a new content. Till then, bye. Have a nice day.